Hey everybody, Chris with MLC. Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we're going to talk about a new addition for the milling machine. The mill came with a four inch Kurt vise, but I needed something just a little bit bigger. So got on old Vivor's website. I've got their six inch milling vise. T-bolt. The handle, kind of heavy, but got the pin drilled center this side not quite the <laughs> center on the other side well what do you expect for a hundred bucks I got a 3 8 um, drill shank in this collet and I lowered her down and I started on this end of the vise, got it against that, and then we ran it down that drill shank. To the other end. So we're solid on that drill shank. Come back here to the other end. Solid. Bought this little, this little sweep gauge. I got off Amazon. Anytime tools, part number 209832. I'll leave a link in the description to this little tool set. I don't know, I'm not really sure how much to say about this. It's a pretty hefty vise. Maybe a little oil or we'll run this thing all the way out here. Doesn't feel so bad now that it's up on the mill and bolted to it. There's some of this uh, shipping stuff that's on it still. We're about here to the end. We'll take her all the way out here to the end, see what we got. And that's it right there. Slightly under seven inches. Stuff they have on this thing. Some shipping. Oil on that leaf. 
end screw. Now the biggest reason I got a hold of this, there's, I mean, the Kurt still works. The problem was I was trying to find jacks to work with this, which I imagine they're out there. I just couldn't seem to find them. Uh, these jacks work perfectly with the height of the six inch vise. Plus the, the Kurt has just, it still works great except it's just been used and abused over the years like they've drilled into the ways here plus the uh the nut they've drilled down through that they've actually drilled into the shaft so i mean there's the size comparison between the kurt kurt four inch and the vivor six inch now also when i bought these machinist jacks which they they came from amazon and they do exactly what I want them to do. I also got this little set from Amazon. I have yet to use them. But they seem very well made as well. So I'll put links in the description for this jack set, that jack set, and the link to that Vivor vice. Now, along with other little upgrades, I got this off Amazon as well, this collet holder. I had to come in here with a grinder and grind the back edge and start getting this thing to fit. The thing is, this bracket fit perfectly on this diameter here, but I didn't want it up here. It seems like it should be made for here. So, just had to grind it and grind and grind and fit. And then finally I got it down and drilled the base here. Came in through the inside, put some bolts in it. But this thing, for the money, it was, I think, 20 bucks, 22 bucks. I'll put a link in the description for this collet tray as well. The ultimate knee mill, getting upgrades, getting tooling. A uh, little of time, a little here, a little there. But it's working out great. So what can I say, though? It was a free mill. So the money I saved on having to buy a mill, now I get to use all that money and buy the tooling for the mill. And it's, it's been a lot of fun learning everything about this machine and it's just, it has made the building of the lifts so much easier. 
But yeah, for a hundred dollar vice, 104 is what I paid for it, for drilling and doing the operations I'm doing, it's fine. Now, if I ever get into any precise milling, which I really don't see happening, but who knows? You know, then, then I'm probably gonna, at that time, if the machine starts making money and I start doing more with it, then I'll look into buying a six inch Kurt. And I would like to get this Kurt replaced. Or very least, see if I can buy, I think that nut, see if I can get that nut. See how much this I can rebuild. I mean, there's nothing I can do about the way, but I have no plans on getting rid of it. And then I still need to come over here and I need to try to refurb this thing. Here is a stack of tubing that I notched last night. Notched, drilled, notched and drilled. Before, that would have took to notch the, the short ones with the one inch notch, then notch the longer ones with the inch and a quarter notch. That would have took me probably a half hour each set with the tubing notcher. Now with this, I went to using annular cutters. So now all I do to notch a tube, so drop it down, I slide the tube in, put it up against the edge of the cutter, zero, lift up, run it in my quarter inch, notch. Flip over, rinse and repeat. There seems to be no problem. You just can't side load it. You can't treat it like an end mill. You cannot come into the side of it. You're just gonna burn it up. But if you plunge cut with it, you're fine. So there it is, my thoughts on the Vivor six inch milling vise. I'm actually thinking about buying a second one, that way I can bridge two pieces between it. And for the price, it's a decent value for what it is. Now don't expect a $600 vise, it is a $104 vise. But it has its pros, it has its cons. And for right now, everything I'm using it for, I don't mind it. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you would, please leave a comment down below telling me what you think of the Vivor vise, if you have one. Uh, what you've done to make it better. Remember to hit the bell icon down in the corner so you know when I upload new content, and I'll see you in the next video.